Hey there, lovely people. Welcome back to another heartfelt update on the Jammin' Life blog series channel. I am Jake, and I've got so much to share with you all since our last update. I know it's been, I don't know, maybe about six months. I did one last fall, I believe it was. So yeah, it's been a little bit of a a little bit of a gap in there, but I'm trying to get back. I want to start doing monthly updates. Um, so this is the first one in that new series. Uh, so uh, grab a seat, get a drink, and uh, let's embark on this adventure together. So first off, uh, we'll update on my teaching. Uh, let's kick things off with that. Uh, since our last chat, I have proudly earned my teaching English as a foreign language, uh, TEFL certification. Uh, that is a huge milestone in my career. Uh, I continue to pour my heart and my soul into teaching these seven and eight year old uh, students that I have in my class. Um, however, transitioning back from our, semest from our semester break uh, has been a little bit difficult. Uh, it's presented its own set of challenges. Uh, getting my students to refocus and dive back into the rhythm of learning uh, well, hasn't been that easy. It has not been that easy. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, I am giving it my all and I'm genuinely uh, happy to witness their growth and their understanding of each lesson every day. Uh, so then, uh, moving on, talking a little bit about some traveling that Alice, my wife, and I have been doing recently. Um, we recently went down to uh, southern Taiwan, uh, specifically Tainan. Uh, for the Taiwan Lantern Festival. Uh, so, fun fact about the Lantern Festival, it does date back over 2,000 years, apparently according to a little bit of research that I've done. So, even back in China, when, before Taiwan became Taiwan, and all those people were living in China, uh, it was still uh, a big, big thing, uh, the Lantern Festival was in it. It symbolizes the end of the Lunar New Year celebrations. Um, so they always have just all these really vibrantly colored, inter intricately designed uh, lanterns uh, that a lot of different groups create. And we went down, like I said, down to Tainan, and there was a huge part of that, probably over a couple hundred different lanterns of uh, just different, like, Beans. Like there's some um, traditional, like Chinese, Taiwanese, like looking houses made into lanterns. There were cartoon characters made into lanterns. There were just all these different things made into lanterns. And it was at night, and it was awesome. Um, but yeah, so that's um, so that's the lantern festival that we went to recently down in Tainan. Uh, but also, we took a short trip over to Taoyuan, uh, where we went to a really cool aquarium recently. Um, got to see a lot of graceful jellyfish, some playful penguins, and I think there were even some sharks there. Uh, stingrays, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that was really cool. And then while we were... Um, in Taiwan, we stopped at Ikea. So that kind of brings me to where I am right now um, when we were in, when we were in uh, Taoyuan and at Ikea, we bought this brand new desk that I'm sitting at right now. Um, might post a picture of it. I don't know I've posted a picture online somewhere before, but yeah. So um, I've kind of gone through and redesigned this room I have here in our apartment here in Shinju, uh, turned it into like a home office slash gaming area. Um, it's kind of like 
little sanctuary I can go and just kind of do my own thing like I'm doing right now with recording this video. Um, and it's just, it's kind of, it really is helping me develop the more creative side of my mind, uh, which I need to work on. I need, because I've, I've always been more of the rational type of person, but uh, I want to get more creative projects. So with that being said, um, I am diving back into a hobby that I've been on and off with over the years, and that is my video games, more specifically my Twitch streaming of video games. So I have started up another new Twitch channel. Uh, if you want to go look it out, look up, look it up. I should say um, twitch.tv forward slash the shy guy eighty eight. Um, that's my new channel, the shy guy eighty eight. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of just doing, so I get to be artistic, I get to be creative with that by designing my channel and creating how it looks, but also I'm taking that video game footage, uh, and even footage that I get when I'm not live streaming on Twitch, uh, just when I'm just playing my games regularly, I can still record them and hit I can do some video editing um, on my computer here in my office and turn those into YouTube clips, YouTube shorts, uh, just like these minute long or less uh, little highlight clips of the games I'm playing. Um, I have been, I'm thinking Fortnite is my main game, Solos, uh, Zero Build, that's probably going to mean a lot to most of you, but uh, to the few that are out there that might understand what that means. That is a kind of typical game I play, but also, I mean, I might jump back and forth between a few other games, um, just trying to find my groove, find my rhythm with that, and like I said, doing the video editing for the YouTube Shorts as well, um, and then also doing these monthly uh, vlog updates, these monthly uh, life update videos, so that's, a, that's another creative project. I can focus on. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of the teaching update, the travel update, the hobby update. Uh, one kind of uh, challenges that I've been going through uh, is I have in I have been getting homesick a lot recently, uh, especially about a week or so ago. Uh, I just passed over a year, a full year of being here in Taiwan with uh, Alice. That was back on March 15th, um, is when the one year anniversary was. And right around that time for a few days, I was very, very homesick. Um, just missing all the restaurants I used to like to go to, like Olive Garden, Panera, Chick-fil-A, Chick and just all, all the sports. That, I mean, I could come home from work and always have some sort of sports game to watch. MLB, NBA, NFL, uh, college basketball, college football, uh, all those things are just... But I know, I'm here in Taiwan, so I, and we have March Madness going on right now for college basketball, and the national champion in uh, American college basketball. So. I have found a way to watch those games. I guess it is overnight, so I don't stay up the entire night, but I watch a little bit at the start, a little bit at the end, and so I just gotta find those compromises, and I'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it's just a little bit of homesickness there, and then also, I mean, you still see, uh, I mean, I might do voiceover for this, uh, but I do, uh, the last little challenge I have is my wrist. Um, I am going in for my final surgery. There's a bar in my wrist that is holding it tight. I can't go up and down with my wrist. There's a bar in my wrist. I will get that taken out on April 2nd. Uh, and then I should be, hopefully, according to the doctor, back 100% wrist fully healed. I can use it. I can start driving myself around uh, and all that. Uh, so, yeah, um, and then as far as like the future goes, um, I mean, I'm just going to continue to work 
with my students, continue to get better at teaching, continue to get better at lesson planning. Um, I am thinking about most likely picking up a second class uh, starting next semester. Hopefully they'll let me keep the same level that I'm at now. So one B and then one C uh, for spring, fall semester and then spring semester one B, one C. Uh, so I can go ahead and take the knowledge I've learned this year and keep that. So I already have that base, keep that for my first class. And then I can learn how to teach a second older class uh, for the for the second uh, two hours. Uh, so yeah. So that's kind of what I'm looking for in the future, like I said, just picking up a second ESL class to teach starting next September. Alice is starting a new full-time uh, ESL teaching job of her own. Uh, so, and like school admin kind of job, she started that uh, this past week, I believe it was. And so yeah, we're, we're getting the ball rolling here. We're getting things moving. Our careers are starting to fall into place gone through the first year our ups our downs and now we're kind of just trajectory up trajectory up everything's up uh so yeah um and with that i just want to say we've reached the end of today's update uh thank you for joining me on this journey uh through life's twists and turns ups and downs uh, your unwavering support and encouragement means the world to me. So don't forget, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to. And uh, shower this video with love and positivity and your thoughts. Uh, and then, uh, like I said, we're going to try to do these updates at once a month. So I will see you again the end of April, beginning of June. And uh, yeah, just I love you guys. Thank you for your support and peace. See you soon. Bye.